I am so deep into this project right now, and I don't even know if I'm like anywhere near uh, done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're just tuning in to the little let's play here, you'll find out that I have um, 48 lines of ore all on Mark III miners, 600 per line of sulfur, sam ore, concrete, copper, and uh, iron. Lots of it, tons of it, huge chunks of it. Check out the previous episodes if you want to see uh, how we did the bus system. And oh, oh, really? Oh my God. Okay, anyway, got to watch out for the hypertube cannon. But if you want to see the previous stuff, make sure you check that out. But uh, long story short, Tower of Copper, Tower of Iron, 4,200 copper, 12,600 iron. Now, I still might turn this into pure iron and do refineries for this to uh, essentially get to about 10,000 copper. We're going to see, though, copper powder, we need a lot for nuclear pasta and all that but if you're if you're just kind of catching in here uh real quick recap this is what we're after and then also this is what we're after and that's what we're after so i uh, kind of did a little terrible diagram with stuff going on here but so far we've got that to that and that to that or no we don't even have concrete yet my god dude we there's still so much to do currently we're working on this guy and the amount of work and effort that is going into this is crazy we have a train coming by delivering um an absolute ton of oil from the local uh, oil farm thing here we have a caterium tower which is 768 caterium which seems like not a lot but uh with your normal smelter caterium recipe you get three order and one bar and with the refineries you get two order one bar so this is a uh, pretty much the best way to do it and 768 we're short 12 because uh just the way that the way that the numbers end up coming out should be should be 780 but it's not so anyway the addition that you guys may or may not have seen uh, i didn't make a video yesterday i decided to live stream yesterday but during that live stream we made our heavy oil residue factory here that is producing 3200 heavy oil residue uh, it's a pretty interesting build here let me throw on my hover pack so i can show you around a little bit uh on the inside we have a ton of fluid buffers to hopefully uh negate the fact that we have that pause whenever you know the train stops in and drops everything off and it'll keep everything flowing nice nice and nice so our oils are going upstairs now uh, we've got 600 600 150 300 600 300 so i split these up each floor is a uh, 300 oil uh so we did split these lines off to separate floors and this one here i decided to not use and i just pulled it down through the logistics floor underneath and i'll end up using that oil for something else but for the most part 600 here splits into two lines so essentially it comes out to us having like nine floors of refineries i believe and just to give you kind of a peek inside of what they look like 10 refineries per floor uh, all of our heavy oil residue is also going or not heavy our freaking polymer crap poly purple blue poly stuff is going downstairs um as well as so we're gonna have to figure out something to do with that as well and then all of our uh, um heavy oil is going out the back and more or less this is kind of a cookie cutter copy and paste scenario here uh we also have our oil going in the front heavy oil residue coming out the back and like i said all these are pretty much copy and paste not really copy and paste but like the same thing on every floor uh, but i'll show you the back side real quick you can see that all of our heavy oil residue is transporting to the next building which is the current project uh which is a absolute mess but here everything's coming out all the way from the top down and we're going over here to fill up some little miniature buffers only because i wanted to still yet use buffers i'm really starting to get a liking for them but our math was off uh a little bit when i was doing some things and we need to split some floors up so we came up with this interesting idea last night um each line has 400 uh heavy oil residue coming in it in each one of these lines here and what we need per floor is only 300 in order to match the amount of water that we have coming in as well so what we did was we split off each line 100 off each line and valved it uh, to where it's only going to have 100 coming out of each line uh, in order to essentially make 
two and a half more lines so we split that off of there and then you can see that we split off another part here in the middle and more or less we just split off 100 from all the pipes and and kind of made our own pipes over here you can see we've got those 300 coming in this side 300 coming in here and then 200 coming in the final one here so uh we also are using packaged water which is a absolute humongous feat because we need 7200 water per minute for this tower uh, actually, I think it came out to 6,800 after we uh, fit, corrected the math there. But we got bottles coming in here, and we got empties coming out here. This building's not quite finished yet. But like I said, I'm just kind of... I, I think you guys kind of prefer more of a recap-style video of what I have built rather than a build video of what I'm currently building. So uh, one of my most recents got like 10,000 views, so thank you for that greatly appreciate it and it was this kind of style of thing so either way we're almost to 20k subs too man we're like 50 away dude so freaking close uh, so blender tower of millions of blenders and more or less the way that this one works is if we fly around the outside you're gonna see this is all our diluted fuel coming out of here and more or less long story short none of this fuel is actually gonna be for power uh, it may be because I think I'm gonna have a ton extra but <clears throat> The long story short here is we're going for recycled plastic and recycled rubber and we're going for a metric beep ton of it um, So we will achieve a metric beep ton of it uh, simply because the requirement for Recycled plastic and fuel is only uh, 30 fuel per minute for plastic there and for recycled rubber 30 fuel per minute and i believe i haven't crunched the numbers just yet but we are making uh probably somewhere in the 10,000 range of diluted fuel somewhere in that area um on the back side here you can see our heavy oil residue pumping up here's our three extra lines that we split off and added in and we're more or less just going through the floors kind of like this uh bada boom i'm not using floor holes because i don't i can't trust them right now and uh until i can trust them i'm just i'm just essentially making my own floor holes with just uh the mounts or whatever but a little overview of of what the area looks like here so we've got um essentially at the bottom of this we have our 12 or 10 rows of water bottles coming up they come up here they split in the packager we have them uh unpacking 120 water per minute these require a hundred water per minute so we're a little little bit overboard on that but that's totally fine um, and then we've got our heavy oil residue here which if we come around this way plug this in right about there and there <clears throat> then you'll see our heavy oil residue is going to start filling up these blenders and now we are in motion here so all of our empties are going down we're doing kind of a big carousel type thing that's going to be rotating about 20,000 canisters between this building the water pumps and uh you know everything in between roughly about 20,000 canisters but i have it set up in such a way right now uh it looks like a complete mess right now but i have it set up in such a way to where eventually i can just cut the line between the the water and this building and then it will just be like a constant carousel with uh infinite rotation of water bottles and everything and the reason i decided to do packaging this is my first real packaging project um is because we needed you know essentially 7200 water which would be roughly about 60 water pumps and we would need about three water pumps per floor. So I would have to pull 60 lines of water with pumps and everything else all the way up here. And I just felt like, you know, the trade-off for having packagers and everything, it just seemed like one, a cool, cool project idea and uh, a nice challenge, right? Because I'm doing all these buildings vertical. So it's definitely presenting its own challenges and, and things of that nature. But the hilarious part of this whole entire adventure here is that this is for nuclear stuff and i am so far from being able to start any nuclear anything <laughs> and i think that's pretty hilarious but i'm really liking the the method we're using here and all keeping everything nice and tight and clean 
and you know as time goes on i'll make it look a little bit more tron like that's kind of the the vibe i want to go for so we're probably going to do things like uh uh someone had shared some 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 images to the discord to kind of give me some ideas but something i thought looked kind of cool was just kind of like these like white outlines or something like that just kind of white hard lines uh to kind of make everything pop out i think that would look really sweet i am a little bit nervous about the uh what am i trying to say here like if there's any sort of lag that comes with you know lighting i haven't used an absolute massive amount of lighting but you see what I mean? Like those all the way down all to the sides of the pillars. I might just make a pillar blueprint and, uh, and you know, make a, like an eight tall one and a four tall one. Cause most of my buildings are either four blocks or eight blocks tall and just go through and redo all the corners. I think that would look pretty sweet and then probably do something with the walls later on. But yeah, first we got to get the functionality going so we can start pumping out things. And then once we're pumping out things then we can come back and, uh, do some decorating. Also here we're making, uh, 800 canisters per minute utilizing the uh the copper sheets and plates recipe here which is the coated iron canister so i pulled one line from each tower over there uh over here to get essentially turn that into four floors of canister creation here and more or less what i'm doing is i'm sending that into a mass storage system that's holding currently 100,000 and 100,800 canisters so that i can more or less ha have the ability to filter these into whatever system i want to and then you know fill that system with canisters and then and then close it off and then we are back to having our hundred thousand stash of canisters so yeah man what a crazy project i'll show you the the water real quick now this is uh there's the i'm gonna be covering all this stuff right with the building so you won't be able to see it but the thought process here um, we kind of built this down inside of our logistics floor to eliminate the need for a water pump uh, so we can go straight into the packager and shout out to the person on stream yesterday that gave me that idea. Since it's on the logistics floor, it follows our no rule policy, which uh, there is a whole lot of stuff going on down here, uh, mainly because I wanted to try and balance out in the laziest way possible all of the canisters and water containers because we do have some some tricky interesting numbers here but essentially there's 60 water pumps and 60 packagers each packager is overclocked two times to match the output of the water pump so 120 on the water pumps 120 on the packager and uh yeah man it's just a whole lot it's a big project and, and this is freaking fun man I'm, I'm loving like really challenging myself with these vertical buildings um although they, they they all look somewhat similar i love that chrome that chromey chrome but yeah this has still got another i don't know probably another one two three four five six probably another four or five floors i think to do and i'm gonna knock those out but hope you guys enjoy the update man if you want to check into any of the live building i'm live on twitch and youtube every night uh pick your poison if you prefer one or the other but uh you can find me there literally every night i will be playing this game for the rest of my life so if you want that you want to get involved in the community and all that that's where i'm gonna be at so y'all be good hit that subscribe button hit the like button blow it up drop a heart down in the comments for me or something i greatly appreciate you guys and i'll see you on the next one